Hello! I'm welcoming you in our monthly interview with the top smart bag community contributors. Today I'm happy to talk with Marsha Robertson, our test complete community hero. Marsha has been working in the industry for more than 30 years, and today she will tell us about the most important skills each software quality assurance specialist must have nowadays. Also, only in this interview, Marsha will share with us her advice on how to properly prepare to Smart Bay Connect to get the most of it. Smart Bay Connect, our user conference, will take place this fall. Watch the interview and leave your comments. Hello, Smart Bay community. I'm happy to welcome you in our monthly interview. And today we will talk with uh, Marsha Robertson, our test complete, test complete here. And you saw you saw Marsha's cat many times, and now it's time to meet Marsha and learn the cat's name. So, hello, Marsha. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. Great. So, I have two cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this, is, this was my <laughs> second question. Only two, right? Yes, only two. <laughs> okay. I, the, boy is, the boy is Tucker and the girl is Hoshi. Oh, so Great. Uh, let's start with a short introduction. Uh, could you please uh, introduce yourself to the Smart Bay community? Where are you from? Uh, what are your hobbies? What do you do in your spare time? Okay. Um, I'm from Southern California. I've lived out here 30-something oh, years now. So where I grew up is not where I'm from anymore. It's, it's here. And um, what I... I started out of school as a programmer and a support person, and when QA came along as a, an option, I jumped into that, and I've never wanted to go back. This is what I like to do at uh, work. Spare time, I read, I watch TV, I go swimming. Um, what else? Uh, just hang out with my friends like everybody else. So. Okay, and uh, I think uh, one of the most important questions, which uh, everybody in the Smart Bay community will ask me about, do cats help with testing? Well, they think they do. <laughs> <laughs> I think my phone just went off. I'm sorry. Um, they think, oh, of course, cats always think they're helping with everything, and they know better than everything. But um, So they will try. I don't know that, that their typing skills are the best. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they will need to work hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, great. And uh, about your professional work, so uh, you were always like in the IT area, uh, right? Yes. So, yes. so how long? How long have you been in this uh, this industry? Industry, and how did you start? Hmm. 30 something years. <laughs> okay. And since I got out of school, um, I started uh, as a, with a computer science degree, but at that time there were not many jobs at all. It, it was very hard to find a job out of school. But I started as a support desk person. And at that company, then I worked my way into programming. And that's what I did at the next two or three jobs was I would get in as support and then show them that I could do bug fixes and maintenance programming and that. And so I built up that way. And as I was moving to the next job, they said, well, you could do this support, but we have this testing thing we think you might like. I said, sure, why not? Because the support desk had to carry a pager and the QA people didn't. <laughs> so I knew I wasn't going to have any extra hours. But I tried it and I really liked it. And that was only manual testing it then. There was no thought of automation. And um, I just stuck with it, and it's, it's just been something I really like to do. And I still, now I get a chance to program again because we're doing the automated. All right. Uh, you have great background, so I have a question for, uh, for you, in case if you can share your knowledge for uh, new uh, people, for people who are just starting their career. So if you were to hire anyone, anyone for a position in the software quality assurance, uh, what mm -hmm. questions would you ask them? Should they be only some kind of product specific questions or this person should have some knowledge in the software quality assurance areas, how to set up frameworks or other things? I tend to look for more general knowledge because that's the way I came for. You will see job listings, I'll say, we want you to know this software or that software or have all this experience in accounting or whatever, but 
there is a skill to testing. And if you know how to test, you can learn the software. So every place I've been, I've tested a different kind of software. It's been accounting or medical or uh, business systems, whatever. But if you know the testing, then you can go on. So I will ask more general things like um, you might know the, uh, the elevator test. How would you test an elevator? Now, you don't have to know software. You don't have to know how the elevator works. But you can give me a whole test plan for an elevator. And then I know how you're going to think about pulling the puzzle apart. So well, that's, that's the kind of thing I would do. Do you push the button? Do you put somebody in the elevator? We had, that, we had an intern come up with that. He said he would put a drone in the elevator. Because if you don't know that the elevator is going to work properly, you don't want to put a person in there. So he would rig a drone to push the buttons and do all the other things. I'd say he's the first one that's come up with that. So that's the kind of thing I look for. Uh, do you remember when you first time came to the Test Complete community? How long ago what is, was it? Oh, about maybe five or six years ago. Oh, quite long. I had worked with Test Complete at the job before. And, but we were doing a lot of back end and it was all scripting and I was following somebody else's pattern. So I kind of knew that part. But then uh, at the, when I moved to the newer job, it was, it, it's all keyword. And I didn't know the keyword. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know the keyword. So I got on the, uh, the community and started looking at the documentation and then I'd have questions. And of course we were all new at work, so nobody at work knew. So I just started posting things on the forum and there were magically people that could answer. <laughs> and uh, at the beginning of this year, you earned the community hero status. So this is yeah. one of the most elite community status. Uh, it is not so easy to earn it. You need to contribute a no. lot. <laughs> to this part of so please, uh, could you please share your secrets? How have you managed to do this? Where did you find the time to contribute to the community? <laughs> and how did I get in past Tristan Ogre and, and Kunder W? Because <laughs> there's some other people that I don't know how they spend all that time, or they just know the answers faster than I do, I think. But um, I spend a little time in the morning and then a little time in the afternoon um, just picking through the forum and finding things that, that I know the answer to or I can add to somebody else's answer. Um, it's been really nice, the very new feature that shows us the unanswered posts has made it even faster because we don't have to pick through. They're already there. Yeah, I knew um, you like it. <laughs> yes, that was very good. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. I just go in in the morning, and it, it helps a little that I think most people that answer are in a different time zone. Mm -hmm. So they're all East Coast or they're in Europe. And so when I get there, I get the later people. And so maybe the people on the East Coast have gone to lunch or whatever, I could pick up on the later people and also I get things after they've gone home. So hopefully, this is the customer service person in me, hopefully somebody doesn't go too long without an answer or at least a question back, what did you do? Can you give us more information? And they're not just sitting there thinking nobody's there. Yeah. So that's why I get on in the afternoon. I try to pick up, because it's frustrating when you're trying to work on something at four o'clock and you don't have an answer and nobody can help you. And I've been there. So I, I'd like to at least show them somebody's watching, you know. Thanks for thinking about this. Yeah, that's great. Sure. <laughs> uh, I know that uh, last year you attended uh, our user conference, Smart Back Connect, and uh, where you were able to chat with, uh, you mentioned, with Robert Martin and with Carson Underwood. Yeah. So uh, did you find, how did you, how did you, meet uh what what were you talking about were you talking about some you know some, uh specific area or just well i found robert um just in in the uh the first meetings in the big ballroom i mm -hmm. happened to run into him and so we ended up sitting together to watch those things we did talk about a little bit about work and uh, i know he was a speaker and then uh, carson i found after his his piece and what we find out you can kind of tell it on the forum but what we find out is that we're we all really have the same problems you know we're we're testing totally different products but we all have the same problems 
and we've all come up with a different way to solve them. And some like, oh, I could do that. Or, you know, Robert gives me this shortcut or, or um, I could share this with Carson that might help him. But we're, we're all in the same boat. We're just different angles, like you said. So it's, it's nice to that whole room, really. You're not alone. Everybody's doing the same thing. Okay, great. So uh, I suppose that uh, you were able to resolve all the questions you had uh, at the conference. I did, actually. I brought a list because other people had questions. Our, our overseas people that couldn't come had questions. Okay, this is actually this is a great, great advice for everyone who are, who are going to attend Smart Bay Connect this year. So prepare the list of questions yes. you will need to resolve and ask them and ask the question at the conference. Great. <laughs> okay. Yes. They, uh, I sent it to all our offices. We have several around, too, and I was the only one going. So a couple months, and I kept bugging people, send me questions, send me questions. And I probably had a dozen. And about half of them I could answer from the, the speakers. And then the other ones we went over, and that everybody was happy. Uh, I would like to thank you for your awesome contribution to the Test Complete community. Uh, we are very happy that you are with us and you are willing to share your knowledge. Uh, do you have anything to say to the Smart Bay community? Well, thank you. I, I have fun doing it, and that's why I, I, I stick around. You know, we all have enough work to do, but this is, is, uh, this is a contribution I can make, and I appreciate the, the opportunity. Uh, for the community, um, where it just seems like we're all supporting each other. You, you know, the pe new people come in, and I don't know what this is, and I don't know what that is, and we just go in and say, well, it's this, and it's not hard. You know, don't don't get frustrated. Here's some, some answers, and if we, between the, the those of us that are answering, um, if we have to, then we say, here's the link to support, and just go ask there, because, you know, they know 10 times more than we do, and and uh, they'll help you if we can't. So we just, we don't want anybody to go away frustrated. So just keep trying. Somebody will answer your question. Okay. And uh, I'm sure that uh, we will do our best to help everyone to find sure. the answer to the question. Okay. Yep. Uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for the interview. Thanks a lot for your time. See you in this. Thanks for asking. Video. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you.